Hey guys, today I am doing a tutorial on this look right here and we are basically using all three Manizer highlighting powders by The Balm. I am really into versatile products that can be used for multiple different uses. So we are using all three of these to do the whole eyeshadow look and basically the whole face look besides like foundation, concealer, and powder. And I think it makes for a really beautiful, natural, everyday glowy makeup look. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I already did foundation and concealer and powder and stuff like that and brows just so we can jump right into the tutorial part of this video. So I am going to be starting with eyes and I'm going to start with a transition color using Cindy Luminizer. It's a nice peachy color and I love peaches as a transition color so I'm going to pop that on. Alright, next I'm going to darken up the crease with Betty Luminizer. She's the most matte of the three and she's a nice bronzy color so it's really going to be good at defining the crease. So I'm just blending this in my actual crease socket and then also out here right on the outer V of the eye. Just going to define everything more and make your eyes look more deep set. I also like to start dragging it down to the lower lash line because we are going to be blending these colors down there as well. And then I always go back with my original brush that I use for the transition color to just kind of make sure those are seamlessly blended together. Alright, let's go ahead and put on the lid shade with a Mary Luminizer. I'm starting in the inner corner because that's where I want the most pigment and then just kind of diffusing it in towards the middle. I'm going to go ahead and place her on the eyebrow bone as well. Alright, I'm just going to go in with a little more Betty Luminizer just to make sure there's enough pigment in the outer V and everything since we added the lid color. Alright, I'm also going to go ahead now and put Betty on the lower lash line and then I'm going to smoke her out and blend her out a little bit with Cindy. Alright, and I am all about darkness and depth in the outer V. So I am just going to do a little bit more Betty Luminizer just right here to just make it a little bit darker and smokier. Alright, and then I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eye with Mary and then pop on some mascara and the eyes will be complete. Alright, time to bring some color into my face. So, depending on your skin tone, you can, of course, use all three of these as just a regular highlight color. But with my skin tone, these two are just too dark. So I just am going to highlight with Mary Luminizer and use Betty as a bronzer. It makes a really nice glowy bronzy color to your face. Especially with Cindy, I'm going to basically use it as a blush. And just all three of these combined, it's just going to bring a beautiful natural glow to your face as you guys will see. So starting with Betty to just warm up my cheekbone area. Blend it all the way over to the hairline. You just want to use a light hand because they are quite pigmented and again if you have a skin tone like me you don't want too much so that you look muddy just want to add a nice little bronzy bit of glow All right connect that up to the temples and the top of your forehead and you can blend it down to your neck as well alright let's go ahead and apply Cindy just as you normally would like a blush really love peach blushes especially glowy peach blushes like Luminoso by Milani everyone loves that one I think this one is very very similar to that maybe even a little bit more glowy it is just so pretty all right and let's top it off by highlighting with a Mary Luminizer this was my first highlight that I bought probably like two and a half years ago now at least maybe three and a half and I still love it obviously everyone has different tastes of highlighter some like the natural glow from within kind of look and some like the glow you can see from Mars look <laughs> and it all just kind of depends on how much you pack on so just do as much as you would like 
but I also like to put some up above my eyebrows sometimes, my nose, Cupid's bow. All right, and that is basically it. Of course, you may want to add a lip color. I am going to. So I am going to line my lips with 020 by Bite Beauty and then use the lip color Harley Street by MYJ Beauty. It is a London brand that my friend actually made, so I will link it below. Be sure to check it out. They have awesome lip products. <laughs> Okay guys, that concludes this look. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let me know if you're going to try it out. And again, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.